In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. This is Father Angel Andres from the Mission of San Andrew Apostle in Tijuana, Baja California, Diocese of Mexico, of the Orthodox Church in America. The Gospel is for October the 27, 2018, according to St. Luke. Do you recognize your sins, or do you believe that you are in grace and without sin? The Lord said to some, to the ones having put the confidence in themselves, thinking that they are righteous and despise others, this parable. Two men went up to the temple to pray. One was a Pharisee and the other a tax collector. The Pharisee, having stood to himself, was praying these things. God, I thank you, for I am not like other men, swindlers, unrighteous, adulterers, or even as this tax collector. I fast, I fast twice during the week. I tithe everything as much as I get. But the tax collector, having stood at a distance, was not willing even to, leave his, to raise his eyes up to heaven, but beating his chest was saying, God have mercy on me, the sinner. I say to you, this one went down, having been justified, to his house, and the other not, because everyone exalting himself will be humbled, but the one humbling himself will be exalted. Why is that? Because if we had the wisdom of God in ourselves, illumining our minds, never would we exalt ourselves, never ever, because then we would know exactly what are our sins, and we would have the exact same attitude of the tax collector. Forgive me, Lord, because I am a sinner. It is a heresy and a great danger for all those of my brothers in the Roman Catholic that they hear the words when they are called to communion, whoever is prepared ought to come. What a contrast with us, the Orthodox, that we, the prayer before communion is a long prayer and it starts like this. I believe that this is truly the sacred body and the sacred blood of our Lord and God and Savior, Jesus Christ, who came into the world to save sinners, of which I am the first. And then it goes on, and it says, To the Holy Communion of your mysteries, accept me as a communicant, not for my condemnation, but the forgiveness of my sins and for life eternal. And even as we are required to fast, to prepare ourselves and to be reconciled, that is to be confessed, before we even dare to, to say that, that, that prayer, we still know that we remain being sinners. You see, it is a temptation from the devil that you start thinking that if you go and confess, then you are in grace and you have no sin. Then you're making a liar of God. And it is the temptation of, of the devil who wants you to be condemned. But rather, if you pray earnestly that God will illumine your heart, then it will happen as we have it in the Holy Tradition. John the Climacus, that is John of the, of the um, Stair, wrote that when we realize how sinners we are, we start weeping. Bitter weeps, bitter weeping, bitter tears. And then is when we really start wanting to be cleansed. That is the very first step for purification. And we have three steps in the life of the Orthodox Christian, which is the life of any good Christian. First purification, then illumination, then sanctification, which is when God allows us to start acting like He did. Dear brothers, if you want to be saved, you need to be purified. So away with those knowledge of notions that you are in grace and without sin. Send them away far from you. Rather pray that God will show you how your sins affect your life and that he will drive away the demons and everything that oppress you that are making you unable to follow his footsteps. 
For blessed is our God, always, now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. I would like to again thank all of you who have been helping us. Slowly but surely we are being helped on the mission. Share with us a little bit of the blessings of God that He gives to you. That is, if you really want to. We will always be remembering you and in our, in our divine liturgies. We pray for you every Sunday, and I pray for you every day. That God might bless you that we might be granted, both of us, all of us in the world, to go into heaven. Thank you.